Hello, Mr. Tsubaki. So today I'll be solving option three for the block for trigonometry. I'm just gonna go over the question, explain the steps I took and thinking process. So explain and demonstrate what trig law was chosen to solve part C1. So part C, uh, we're given a pyramid, uh, a triangle, right? With uh, this information here, which is uh, angle A is 110 degrees and the distance between A and B is 600, like it's all labeled. labeled. So part C1, what is the distance uh, between B and C? Give your answer to the nearest meter. So basically, as this is not a right triangle, we know we're gonna use um, we're gonna use either the sine rule or the cosine rule, which is the uh, the trigonometry rules that can be used for uh, non right triangles. And so, as we know this, and we're not given uh, much information, we can uh, deduce we're gonna use a trigonometry law. And basically, something important uh, to choose the trigonometry law we're gonna use. So first of all, there's either um, the sine rule or the cosine rule. These two here. Uh, these are their formulas. And basically, well, important uh, thing is, is to gather all the information we're given. And basically, for example, if we um, pay attention to the sine rule, we you know that we're going to need one side and uh, and the one angle. And also um, the side opposite to the other to other angle. So basically, to fill this information, to, like to actually fill this formula, we're going to have one, we're going to need one angle and the one side opposite to this angle. So we're gonna need both of these informations. And if we look re here, we can already see that we're given a side and an angle, but they're not opposite. So for example, we're not given a, an angle and the opposite side to it, which is needed here. For example, uh, side A and angle of A, which is opposite to the side. Basically we need uh, to make the, to use properly the sign rule, we need to know one opposite side and one opposite angle one opposite side and angle. So basically, as we're not given this, we're gonna go for this, we're gonna try the second uh, trigonometry rule, which is the cosine rule. And here we can see there's uh, two uh, different forms of it. Um, one is C squared equals A squared plus B uh, squared, or C to the power of two, whatever, minus two A, B, cosine of C, or it's the other form, it's cosine of C equals A squared plus B squared minus C squared divided by 2A. And basically, um, to choose the one we're gonna use here, we gotta see. So for example, whatever we put in the left side is what we wanna, we wanna find. So in this case, the first, um, the first form of it, we're trying to find a side, which is C here. And in the second, uh, in the second form, we're trying to find an angle because we're looking for cosine of C angle. So basically, the end, um, the question is asking, what's the distance between B and C, which is this? So we're gonna, we wanna find a side. So we're gonna choose the first one, which is this form here. And we're just gonna fill it up with the information that is given to us. However, um, we gotta like alter it a little bit because like, for example, our C squared in this case is not the side we wanna find, like it will be the side and we already know. So we're just gonna alter it a little bit Basically, we're just gonna put a, uh, we're just gonna make it like this. We're gonna change it a little bit, which is gonna be a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus two bc cosine of a. Cosine of a being the only angle that is given to us, and uh, small a being the side we want to find, which is opposite to this angle. That's why it's small a because it's opposite to the angle a big uh, capital A. And so, if you fill in the formula, it's gonna be a squared equals to 744 squared. And before before I continue, I'm just gonna tell where I found it for um, 744. Uh, basically 744, the value which is not shown in here, which is good, I'm gonna put here, was given from the last exercise. So I'm not like, I'm not gonna show how I did it, but uh, uh, we were given in the last exercise. I can show it right here which uh, is just a continuation of the exercise, basically, uh, the exercise we're doing. So it's just uh, one side that we found in the last exercise, previous exercise. And basically, we're gonna just plug in all the information that is given to us, which is gonna be, this is gonna be side B, this is gonna be uh, side C, like small C, and this is gonna be side A, which is what we wanna find. So if we plug in the information, it's gonna be 744 squared, plus 600 squared minus two 
times 744 times 600 cosine of 110 which is the only angle that is given to us and it's opposite to the side we want to find that's why it's cosine of capital a and we're going to give get an answer of a squared equals to one two one eight eight nine one five um point five eight four which is like a very big number however we know we're gonna have to take the square root of it because it's uh eight to the power of two in the one side and to cancel the the power of two we're gonna have to take the square root in both sides and so basically the answer is a equals to one hundred one thousand one hundred and four eleven oh four like that and including calculator screenshots so basically i'm going to show here in my calculator just i'm just going to plug in everything that was given to me so the formula is going to be 744 squared plus um 600 squared uh minus 2 times 744 times 600 and then um, cosine of 110. And so we've, we're going to get this value here, which is the one I, I showed here. And then we got to take this, the square root of it, which of it, and it's going to give us uh, 1,104, 1104 for the final answer. And the diagram I chose to, to, choose, to show is the desk diagram I did on my other paper which it kind of shows like an explanation of this, the signs, the, the, the laws. So basically law of signs, we need to know one op when an opposite side and angle. So like if we don't know any opposite sides and angles, like we cannot fulfill this uh, law, we cannot use it, apply it. And the cosine law, there's two options for it. One it, which starts with the cosine of A, which is to find the, the, the inside of an angle, and the other which starts with A squared. And when it's find the angle, you have to find the side.